Hey Shadowers, how's it going? It's me, Chaotic Shadow 24 and welcome back to a brand new episode of Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer. Let's jump right into it. There you go, there's your obligatory jump right into it for the episode. I always say that in every single episode now. I don't understand why I'm doing it, but today, Isabel is here and we have a new job to do. Good morning, Tiger. Hey, guess what? Isabel is here, Chaod. Cool. Hello, Isabel. You should be at my town doing stuff while I'm here doing stuff. Hello, Kao. Good morning. Have you heard about building new facilities around town? Your school was so well received by everyone that we're already getting permits for more facilities. Currently, we have everything we need to build either a hospital, a restaurant, or a shop of any style. Or any type, I think it said. The land for the three has already been decided, but you decide which facility you want to build first. My morning commute will take me by these buildings every day, so make sure they're great. Hehe. <laughs> okay, so I think we should do that today. What do you guys think? Perfect, so you agree. Okay. <laughs> well, ah, thanks for offering to help. I haven't said anything yet. I just wanted to say hello. Okay, so right now you can build these facilities. A hospital, cafe, or a shop. What should it be? I'm thinking... A uh, shop. Let's do a shop. Let's do it. Here are the requirements for the shop. How about it? Think it's doable? So the main rooms are the sales floor. Okay, I don't know what- a sales floor? Is that like- I think that means where everything is sold, I guess. Sales is like a department thing, like you do in an office. Yay, I knew you'd help! Okay, let's not waste any time. I'll take you right over to the facility- facility construction site. Facilities construction site. That just proves I'm an adult that I think sales means an office thing. What the hell is wrong with me? <laughs> so weird. Is this where the shop is gonna be? It's a really cool place for a shop. First, we'll need to decide on a design for the for the exterior. What would you recommend? Well, what's it going to be? Oh, there are so many choices. Whoa. We've got this one, this one, this one, this one. Oh, I love that one. That one's cool. It's so old and I love it. That one is even cooler. Oh, that one's cool too. And we've got these ones as well. Oh, I really like these ones. Oh, that one's awesome. I think I'm gonna go for one of these ones. Although, let's check this one out again. Oh, that one... That one's cute. I like that one. It has, like, a little moving thing. Like a sign. D does anything here move? Let's check while we look at this stuff. That one's very cool. I like that one a lot. But that one's also very nice. But then I like these ones because the sign moves, and it's so cute! Oh, but it's... The dark color. I don't like the dark color. That's the only problem. I think I'm gonna go for either this one or one of these ones. Um, I wanna go for one of these ones. Uh, this one right here. Um, I think I'm gonna go with this one or this one. Or this one. Gosh dang it, I'm so indecisive about stuff like this. This one's very nice. Oh, that one moves too. Okay, cool. I'm done. I'm talking about the lantern, by the way. It's moving, which I liked. I, I liked it about this one because the sign moved and it made a squeaky noise like that. And it's so cute. Um, and obviously the other one doesn't have anything like that, so that one's out of the question. Um, let's see. I do like this one, but I also really like this one. I like this one because it's like a fisherman's hut and we're right next to a river or whatever. But then I like this one because it's more modern and it looks nice. Um, but then I like this one because it's more homey and comforting or whatever. I'm gonna go with this one, I think. Let's just do it. Rash decisions are my specialty. Nice choice! It looks great! Next, let's start working on the interior! Sounds good. Is it gonna look like the outside? Or we probably just have to mess around with it a bunch. Oh look, it's a really weird... Really, really weird layout. I know you'll do great. Okay. <laughs> okay, we just walk into the store and she's like, I know you'll do great. Okay, well, leave it all up to me then. Whatever. Let's see what kind of floors and walls we have for this place. We have, oh, the, uh, the recycle store place. That's cool. 24-hour shop wall. The pasta. I like that one. Yeah, I'm, I'm choosing that one. That one's the nicest. Uh, there's no other ones that I like. Okay, I'm going with this one. We have these, orange panel floor, blue tile floor, which I like a lot, and the green argyle floor, and we have this one as well. The oil stained floor. I'm gonna go with the blue one. I love this blue color. Or, hang on, wait a sec. That one's also very nice. 
I'm gonna go with that one. Yeah, that one's cool. Okay, so what's next? We need furniture, of course. So let's see here. Hang on. Let's go into this one. This one's cooler. Uh, this one shows everything you need. Um, what kind of store should this be, first of all? Should it be like a dairy or what you guys call a 7-Eleven? It's like a small store, uh, small supermarket, but not quite a supermarket. I'm not sure what you guys call it. We call it a dairy in New Zealand. Um, has nothing to do with dairy products or anything. <laughs> but yeah, Bell Point, that's cool. Soda case. Can I just click on these, please? Darn! See, you can't click on them, otherwise it'll appear. That's such a pain in the butt. Sheesh. Okay, what if I do this? Okay, that's better. Store shelf. Oh, flowers. This should just be your average, like, store or whatever. Just a normal dairy or whatever you want to do. So, I'm going to start off by putting these here. This is like the vending machine area. So that's cool. Okay, we only want one of those. Uh, let's get some shelves, because that's always good for a dairy. I'm going to... Uh, model this off of one of the dairies I went to when I was a kid. Uh, one of the dairies I always went to as a kid. Um, it had shelves at the back here. Obviously it didn't look like this, but I'm gonna, uh, make it as close as I can. Oops, actually, let's get rid of those. And let's turn this one, like so. And now we'll do this. There you go, see? I know what I'm doing! Awesome! And so, here we have, like, the little area you can shop in and whatnot. Let's put this right over here. There you go. See, that looks cool. That looks really cool. I'm gonna move this right there. There you go. That's awesome. Okay, let's see. What else do we have here? I love this. This is so cool. Uh, get out of that. I don't like that one. I don't need it. Um, what about... Oh, the ice cream. Of course you can't forget the ice cream in a dairy. Come on. Gotta have ice cream. Seriously, without ice cream, it might as well not even be open, am I right? Uh, <laughs> popcorn? Oh, this could be a movie theater, but I don't want to do that. Drink machine! Oh, Gimme gimme! That's cool! That's really cool. I'm gonna put that right there, and that right there. Or, you know what, we'll put these in the corner, like so. We should have two of them. There we go, look at that! That is so cool! Um, actually, we can do this. Hmm... Yeah, that looks cool, I like that. Put that one, like, there or something, and then we'll put something over here. I want to make this kind of cramped, like most dairies are. I keep going into that one, it's so stupid. It doesn't list all of the furniture that you see here. Soda! Okay, cool, I like this. Uh, oh, that's really small, that should go by the counter. We'll leave that there for now. Um, what else do we have? Oh, shopping carts, of course. For some reason, dairies always have these. Even though you usually go to dairies to, um, just to buy snacks or whatever when you're chilling out with friends or something, or you need something to eat for the night. Uh, oh, we have counters here. See, I could have used these a while ago when I was making a fast food restaurant, but, you know, whatever floats your goat. Animal Crossing. Silly game. Silly, silly. Um, yeah, anyway, <laughs> we'll do this, we'll have a counter right here, this is a nice counter area, hmm, I do like this counter area, it's very nice, okay, what if we move that like that, no, I like it the other way, we'll put it like that, there you go, that's cool, that's awesome, what's this, oh, it's ice cream, <laughs> of course, right, ice cream, uh, that won't go there, it can go to the side right here. Usually they're at the front or whatever. Um, or we can put it back here. Yes, that's much cooler. I like that one a lot more. Um, I've got to remember, animals will be chilling out around here, so... Oh, I can't do that. Darn. So, yeah, we got to be careful of that stuff. We could put that there. No, put that there. This doesn't even need to exist, so let's get that out of here. This is looking cool so far. I like it. Um... Let's check some more stuff out. We have, ooh, what's this? Casual display stand, that's cool. The gumball machine, of course! Can't forget the gumball machine. There's always one in front of the store. Usually outside, but whatever, this works too. Cannot forget that, seriously. It's usually by the trolleys or whatever, or what are they called? The shopping carts, excuse me. We call them trolleys over here in New Zealand. There you go. Cool. Actually, this should be facing that way. There you go. 
and we'll get another one as well. Cool, cool. We don't need two of these, do we? Let's just get rid of that one. Okay, what's next? Hmm, what else do we need for this store here? This is really turning out well, I'm so proud of this. Uh, neon sign, I don't really need that. What is all this stuff? Holy crap! Oh my lord! Oh yeah, they do have flowers in some dairies, don't they? Maybe I should mess with that. Oh, security cameras, that's perfect. They usually have one right there. Perfect, okay, that landed in the perfect place. They usually have one right here, and they have one at the front of the store as well, which you cannot see, but there it is right there. It will actually do that, so it covers more of an area, um, even though they have no function whatsoever, but whatever. I'm a, I'm a man that likes to work on good stuff. Oh, what am I talking about? I just like to make things legitimate. What's this? Crane game? Hell yeah, put this on the store right now. There's always one of these here. Whoa, that is so cool. Albeit, it's usually outside the store, but whatever. That's awesome. That is so cool that they put this in. I love the crane game. Well, there it is, right there, the crane game. Uh, if there's a different color for that, I will take it. Uh, but for now, it's gonna look like that. What is that, money box? Okay, that can... That can go here. Oops. There you go. I was gonna say, you can't put it on the thing? What's wrong with you? Oh wait, no, we don't use that. We use a cash register. What's wrong with me? I, th I legitimately thought a money box was a cash register for a second. Uh, bell point. No, there's not usually ATMs in... Um, it's not usually an ATM in, uh, what is this place called? A dairy? There you go, that works. There's not usually one of those in a dairy. Let's do this real quick. There's always a slushy machine in a dairy. Seriously. Always. And I always buy the blue ones, because the blue ones are the best ones. Seriously, you can't go wrong with blue. Blue is the best. Actually, some dairies have their little ice cream box back here, so maybe I should do that. That looks a little bit nicer, and then they usually have like a menu on the top here for what ice creams you can have. So that could be cool. Uh, do we have any wall items that we could mess with? Maybe I'll check later, uh, but let's see what else we have. Candy over here? Yummy. I love candy. Hmm, let's see, jukebox? No, there's not usually a jukebox. A uh, checkout counter, that's for like a restaurant or whatever, that's unusual. Uh, we're just making a shop here, not a restaurant. Um, let's see. Flower display case, that's right, yeah, I was gonna do one of those cans. <laughs> okay, let's switch out the crane game for this, because I'm not a fan of the crane game. There you go, it's just too pink or whatever. Not a fan, not a fan. Actually, you know what, let's put that right there. Which way does it go? Is that the right way or the wrong way? That's the right way, okay, cool. That's awesome. All right, let's see what else we have real quick. Hmm, what else do we have here? Slushy machines and junk. Uh, what's this? Wood display stand. Oh, a cash register, of course. Have I put one of these down yet? Let's grab this one. Usually they have like an old style one like this, so that's cool. I know it's called a modern one, but that's really not modern at all. Um, hmm, let's see, what is this, public telephone? No, do not want, do not want, um, hmm, I think we are done with all the floor items, doesn't this look nice? Let's check out the carpets real quick, is there a welcome mat? Oh, we've got all of these ones, display rugs and such, that's really cool, let's go with this one, small, here you go. Oh, look at that! Hey, that's super cute! I love that! Get out of here, Isabel. You stand right there, okay? Look at that! Like a welcome mat kind of thing? That's cool! Or we could put that there? Yeah, that's much cooler. Is there another flavor of that? Let's see. Hmm, I know, it's not a flavor, it's a mat. Whatever, I like calling it that. This one's cool. This one's better. Okay, small one of this. And get out of there. And, real quick, let's just go into here, and let's see, um, what the medium version looks like. Okay, no, I thought maybe it would be like a rectangle or whatever, but it's not, but that's totally fine. Um, we can put one of these over here, usually there is a mat around here, which is very interesting, I know, but usually they have 
a mat here to stop you from like tracking in dirt where all the food is so uh, that's a good plan let's see let's check this out let's check out what kind of stuff we have here uh, we need like a menu board or something but I'm not seeing one right now uh, oh the exit sign of course this would be perfect we'll put this right above there that's cool um, that was a weird noise what just happened oh it's because I did this such a weird sound Okay, let's see, what else can we use? Oops, wrong button, uh, get out of that. There you go, click on that. Um, hmm, let's see, we need a menu thing, but there are no menus, what about this? Is that a menu? No, it's just like that, I guess that could be used as a menu. Right, yeah, they have that at fish and chip stores, so, I don't know, it could be a menu. It could say like, um, right where those pumpkins are or whatever. Freshly picked pumpkins uh, selling at the store and then that gold letter could be like eat a chocolate bar to win a gold ticket to go to uh, Frank's chocolate factory or whatever, but I don't know whatever that works doesn't it? Let's see what the hanging items are. Oh We've got lots of lights here. What is this hanging menu? Here you go. Oh Wow, that is very restauranty. That's so McDonald's isn't it? Oh my gosh uh, That could work I guess Okay, let's actually get one of these as well. Uh, wait, what is that called? What's that called? Information sign. Okay, we can put that right there. Um, as for this menu, I'm not exactly sure if we should use this. It's very restaurant-esque. Yeah, I don't know about that. No thank you, not a fan of that. Okay, let's see what else uh, we have in the hanging section. What is this, range hood? Don't know what that means. Um, oh, a garland is apparently what this is called. Let's use this as like a grand opening thing. Yay, opening, grand opening, woohoo! Cool, cool! Um, obviously this thing here that I put down earlier just shows that there are a bunch of food items there. Uh, what else do we have? This is turning out fantastic, I love this. This is much better than a school. Hmm. We do need lights, obviously, so let's grab this one, the fluorescent light, and let's grab a few of those. Uh, we'll put one here, we'll put one right over here, that works. What is this? Oh, that's a garland, right, of course. There you go, okay, it didn't work for some reason, but now it's working. Uh, we'll put one here as well, and we shall put one behind here, and we'll get rid of the garland because it really doesn't matter. But here you go! Pretty cool, huh? We've got lights and stuff. Oh, this looks amazing! I did a good job with this, not to pat myself on the back or anything, but this looks seriously cool! Uh, stained glass light, a zen light, we don't need any more lights, but those are really cool. Hanging shelf, uh, okay, yeah, let's put a plant in or something, or no, you know what? Uh, let's put a ceiling fan in, that could be cool. Whoa, that made a scary noise when that happened. Look how cool that is! That's awesome! I love this! Can we turn the lights off? Oh, that's cool! This is how it looks when it's... Oh my goodness! This is how it looks when it's closed! That's what I was gonna say, but look! The fan stopped! And when you turn it on, it starts working! And they flicker on as well! That's so cool! I love that! Oh, that is way too cool! And they make a sound too! That's fantastic! Let's, uh, let's grab this... And let's go shopping, why don't we? I'm just kidding, <laughs> let's go. Hey, no, stop. Okay, now I gotta change this back. My joke went too far, people. Anyway, I think we're done here. Just look at this, it looks fantastic. Isabel, come over to us, there you go. Okay, uh, just first of all, before we finish, let's take a little tour around it. We have our counter right here with ice cream behind it and a slushy, of course, and we've got a bunch of, uh, like menu stuff, things, menu board things, I don't know, we have a menu board, there you go, that makes sense. Uh, we have some cola machines or whatever, just uh, fizzy drinks or soda as Americans call it. We have this uh, flower thing, we have a vending machine for little snacks, and we have a bunch of shelves with different snacks. Just real quick, is there a way to change what's on the shelf? That would be really cool. I guess not, but that's the shelf for ya. It looks very cool. I like it. There's also a sign up there that tells you, you know, there's food. We've got a bunch of lights. We have a gumball machine and a shopping cart area. So yeah, oh, or, oh, 
Also, is what I'm trying to say here, I can't speak English, we have a welcome mat thing, kinda. Like, uh, a place where you stand to order stuff, cause you don't wanna have dirty feet when you're ordering stuff or whatever, that's bad taste. Apparently, according to every dairy ever. But anyway, we are done here, let's talk to her, what's up? How's it going? Hey, Kayata, how's the project coming along? All finished! Wow, you're really all done? Excellent, let's take a look. Ah oh, yes, show us the awesome shop that I have created for you, my dear. It'll be our honeymoon spot. What am I talking about right now? Shop! I love how it just says shop. It was the same with school. It was like, school. It was really weird. I don't know why they do that. Oh look, they're walking around. Lyle has a shopping bag. Nook has a shopping bag. Digby is the shopping expert guy. Oh look, they're all stuck in the the aisles or whatever. That's usually how supermarkets go, right? <laughs> That's how they work. That's really cool. Oh, I love this. What else? What are you gonna show me? Nook is looking around for like stuff to drink from the soda machine or whatever. We've got Lyle ordering stuff. Isabel is looking for ice cream. And uh, what's her face? Lottie is looking to leave for some reason. I don't know. Look at them! I love their shopping bags, that's really cool! That's awesome! Oh, they are... Oh, wow! They were trying to get to the line first, like, Isabel really wanted to order something before Lyle could. And then Lyle's like, oops, I forgot something, I need to go order another thing, my bad. Is that it? That's all done! We finished it! A new shop is complete and ready for customers. I bet this will really liven up the town. Okay, I'm heading back to, t to the town hall. Lots of work to do. See you later and good work today. Yay, we did it. Oh, I'm so happy with this. Oh man, that was awesome. Now saving. Cool. We are complete for the day, I think. Yep, this is the end of the day. Hi there, tiger. Welcome back. How did it go? Did the client like what you did? Of course! I liked it too. I love your positivity. I bet your clients appreciate your can-do attitude too. Take a look! The new computer has finally arrived! This here is the dedicated design platformer for Nook's Homes. It's powered by our company's original search engine, Happy Home Network. By using the internet, you can visit projects built by Nook's Homes employees from all over the world. You know, I'd really love to see your post, you post some of your creations, Chaos. Can I read today? That'd be great. How about it? Why don't you post what you worked on today? Let's do it! You've got a great attitude, Tiger. Okay, you can get started right now as long as you have an internet connection. Oh, what's she doing? Okay, let's go ahead and try to connect to the internet. Okay, so I guess we're connecting to the internet right now. That's cool. So people are gonna be able to visit my shop? That's really cool. Uploading the data, that's cool. Good thing I just finished uploading because this would take a long time if I was still uploading uh, because my internet would be sharing the responsibilities or whatever. This is taking a long time anyway. Sheesh. It looks like you've successfully posted. Excellent. I can't wait to see what everyone thinks of your masterpiece, Tiger. From now on, you'll be able to post your favorite creations from the client list. That means you can post things you've already worked on. You can also use this computer to search for other users' works, so check that out sometime, okay? Alright, Tiger. Thanks for all your hard work today. Alright, looks like that's the end of this episode, everybody. I had a lot of fun, didn't you guys as well? Anyway, finish the work for the, the day. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this episode of Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.